Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the UHD EXC 330K HDMI extender kit. This product makes it really easy to share a single HDMI source with a second location in your home up to 330 feet away over a single Cat5 or Cat6 cable. The product also includes a local loopback feature that enables you to continue to watch that media at the primary location while you're sharing it with that secondary location. Finally, the kit includes two IR blasters that take care of transmitting the infrared signals from that secondary location all the way back to whatever media product you're watching so you can control the content. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing to show you everything that comes with the kit. Then I'll take a closer look at each of the components and explain exactly what they do. I'll give you a list of the audio and video standards the product can support. And then finally, I'll come back and actually connect it up here on the bench to show you just how simple it'll be to use the product once you get it home. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find a group of components. There's a transmitter module and a receiver module. We include two power supplies, so you've got power supplies on both ends. There are two infrared blasters, and they're a little bit different. The larger one is at the secondary location, because that's an infrared blaster receiver. The smaller one goes at the primary location. We include two sticky pads that actually attach them to your devices. And then finally, there's a full instruction manual that includes a bunch of diagrams that explain exactly how to hook it up. It lists the audio and video standards that you can support with the product, and it gives you sort of a Q&A in the end of it to answer any questions you may have about the product. Now, if you stay tuned, we'll take a closer look at the components, and I'll explain what all the buttons, connectors, and indicators do. The HD EXC 330 kit includes six main components, a full instruction manual, and two sticky tabs that are used with the infrared blaster modules. When you first pop open the kit, you'll find a receiver module, a transmitter module, two power supplies. Again, these are exactly the same. This end plugs into the wall. The barrel connector plugs into the back of the transmitter or receiver. You can use either of these power supplies with either module. The IR blasters are a little bit different. You'll notice one has a larger module on the end of it there. That's used with the receiver, and the smaller one's used with the transmitter. And included, you'll find two sticky tabs where you can actually adhere this to the monitor in your secondary location, and you can adhere this to the media player you're controlling in the primary location. The instruction manual includes a lot of very detailed diagrams to explain how you can make connections. It talks about the specifications of the unit and has a lot of the answers to questions you may have. Now let's take a closer look at the two modules. I'll start with the transmitter module. The case is made out of metal and that helps to shield it from outside interference. There are vent holes on both ends. There are two holes on the bottom to mount brackets if you choose to do that where you can mount it on a wall up out of the way. If we look at the one end, we've got an HDMI output port, an HDMI input port, and a reset button. The HDMI output port would go to the monitor at your primary location. The HDMI input would come from your media player. On the other end, you have the CAT5 or CAT6 connection. You have the infrared out that plugs into your remote blaster. And then there are two indicator lights right here that'll let you know that you've got connection and you've got power. And additionally, that's the power supply connection there. So this would connect to the CAT5 or CAT6 you're running to the remote location, and this would connect to one of your power supplies. As far as the receiver module goes, it's very similar in that on the one end, we have an HDMI output port that gets connected to the monitor at the secondary location, and we have a reset button, and you can use that to resync the modules once you've made connections. On the other end, your CAT5, CAT6 connection here, IR blaster connection there, again, two indicator LEDs to let you know you have connection and you have power, then finally the DC power input, and again, a full metal case, venting on both sides to keep the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature, and on the bottom mounting holes if you decide to use brackets to mount this to a wall or some other device in your room. The O-Ray UHD ESC 330K can be used with a wide range of media standards, including Full HD up to a 1080p resolution at both 50 and 60 Hz. It has support for HDMI 1.3. It's also HDCP 1.4 compliant, and you can expand the initial installation with additional location modules to share the same video to multiple locations, and it's also providing a local loopback function. The product is compatible with most modern media devices, including DVD players, game consoles, streaming devices like Roku, home surveillance systems, and cable boxes. Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to get the HD EXC 330K working with your own equipment at home. For this demonstration, on my left I'm simulating the primary location in your home. It's where you're normally watching your content today. I have a media player connected up to the monitor, and I'm streaming a video. On my right is the secondary location in your home where you want to enjoy the content from the primary location. 
In front of me, I have the transmitter module and the receiver module, and now I'll show you the connections. We'll start with the transmitter module. The first connection I'll make is from the media player. So I'll disconnect that from the monitor and plug that into the port labeled HDMI in. Now, the product provides a loopback function, which means I can still enjoy the media at the primary location while I'm transmitting it to that secondary location. So I'll take a short HDMI cable and connect it up to the monitor and connect that up to the HDMI out port on the transmitter. Now, I won't power that up just yet and let that sit there. At my secondary location, I have an HDMI cable that connects up to the HDMI output port on the receiver. Then the last connection I need to make is the CAT5 or CAT6 cable between them. That's the only connection between the primary and secondary location, and that's what transmits the audio and video stream. So I've got a short CAT5 cable here that I'll use to simulate that connection. And you can use a much longer cable, obviously up to 330 feet away, but that'll do for now. Now that I've got everything connected up, I'll power them up. So let me power up the primary location first. So I'll add power to the transmitter and you'll see the power light come on. It immediately starts checking the media source to adjust for resolution. Now I'll power up the secondary location. Again, single power connection to both. And that one's powering up now. So in a couple of seconds, it's gonna actually do the handshake between the two units, sync up, decide what resolution can be broadcast across that connection. And then you should see the same video on both of these monitors at the same time. So there's the primary relocation again, going through the resolution adjustments. It's now stable, and so is the secondary location. And that's really all there is for the connections to get this thing working in your home. And again, this Cat5, Cat6 cable can be up to 330 feet long, so you can put that secondary location quite a ways away from your primary location. Now, one other advantage is we include IR blaster modules, and those allow you to plug the larger one in at the receiver end, and basically what this will do is pick up your remote control signals, transmit those over the wires, along with the audio and video signals back to the primary location, and you'll plug this module, which is a transmitter module, into this transmitter, and then attach this to the front of the media device you wanna control, and it'll actually take the infrared signals, transmit them across the wire, and then rebroadcast them out of that transmitter to control that media device. And that allows you to pause or play or fast forward from that secondary location, the content that you're watching. And it really is just that simple. I hope you found this overview of the UHD EXC 330K HDMI Extender Kit helpful. We really appreciate the support you've shown all our OA products. And until next time, thanks for watching.